Two Roanoke men face felony theft charges tonight for their involvement in a meetup to sell video games gone wrong. The buyer and seller agreed to meet through a local Facebook group used to sell items online, like a yard sale. The PDBJ 7's Shane Dwyer is here to break this all down for us. Shane, how do we make sure this doesn't happen to us? Chris, the Rona Police Department says crime stemming from Craigslist and Facebook aren't new to them. It's usually some type of fraud, but this crime was something very different. Investigators say the men agreed to meet and the buyers didn't hold their end of the deal. It happened Tuesday afternoon in a parking lot on Melrose Avenue where police say the man selling a video game system and some guns let the other man take let the other men take a look at the items. Police say the buyers had cash out, but instead of giving it to the seller, they drove off. The seller called police and officers pulled them over about a mile away without incident. Police arrested Romello Atkins and Demoni Wallace yesterday on felony grand larceny charges. Both men were arraigned this afternoon and trials are set for February. Now, Facebook groups like this one that you see behind me and the one the men use are very popular and an easy way to sell and trade items, especially when you just receive the newest version of something for the holidays. That's why you need to be cautious if you use them. You know, we suggest that you use a common sense approach, you know, meet in a public place, take a friend with you, have your cell phone readily available. So what is that common sense approach? Meet someone, meet somewhere that is very public, like a mall, shopping center, or police station. Always tell a friend or family member where and when you're meeting up. And if you can, take a picture of the person's license plate before you get out of the car, and that just will help in the future if you need it. Hopefully you don't. The seller this time was lucky. He got his video games back and just hurt his hand a little bit. But it's your responsibility to make sure you stay safe. Shane Dwyer, WDBJ7.